the body mind mechanism does for brain injury and OCD and additional certain kinds of mental illness, is it possible that excessive thinking could stop or change? Anything is possible. Anything is possible. So you would like to, I would say in those situations, you know, do look into the science of those considered disorders. I mean, our, our research into these types of things is not so great because it's not very financially beneficial for the pharmaceutical companies. But re, like, look into the research of it and try and find the best methods to help relax that. And then, you know, the the exploration of non-duality, like who is the thinker? And also drugs, like I'm not opposed to drugs in those situations. There's people I've worked with with OCD that take medication that's so super helpful. It's not against this. Medication can't stop awakening. How How is that possible? Because medication is working on the brain, is working on the person, and what's being spoken about is beyond the person. So that movement of attention is not negated by taking medication, you know, for OCD. Some people are so prejudiced in spirituality. It's interesting because, you know, when you explore the hippie movement and, you know, this, the evolution of, of spirituality to the West, it's interesting how many dogmatic ideas come over from Christianity, even though they think that, it's um, a rebellion against Christianity, you know, like people get into the mentality that it's a rebellion. Um, you know, or it's different, but, but these ideas are very inherent in Christianity. If you go to extreme Christianity, they're also very against science and medicine. I'm, I'm against medicine in the sense that I think that we take it when there's alternatives but medicine medicine in extreme situations it's you know i'm so grateful that when my dad was passing that there was freaking morphine but um but like so with the say with the covid vaccine my problem was is that i didn't think that everybody needed to take it and then this mass population taking it and then we're weeding it back into our, 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 our water source and then we're all drinking the water source like, I, and then the lack of testing on it and then the mass testing on animals, you know, it comes from a very dark place, medication as well. So this is my hesitancy is that we pop pills in our society, you know, for wrong reasons when there's often a, a natural solution. But... Um, and also I really dislike what we do to animals. It's just, that's so dark what we do to animals. And we have to acknowledge that, you know, it's the same if you're going to buy clothes from sweatshops, you've got to acknowledge that that's what you've done. Like, it's so dark what we do to animals in our society. Um, so, but, you know, there's, there's always exceptions and, I, you know, I'm so grateful in, so, in certain instances of certain medicine, medical practices. You know, it's not throwing the baby out with the bathwater, but you get into these spiritual communities and it's like if you take any form of medicine, you are some type of anti-spiritual person that like, is really bad and doesn't know anything about spirituality. And, and that's the same as Christianity. Isn't that funny? So the hippies think and new age people and non-dual people think that they're being so inventive with being against medicine. But it's exactly the same as what extreme Christianity, extreme Islam, extreme Judaism do. They all are anti it. And then they're all um, prophesize, pontificate about... Um, you know, if you truly align with God, then you'll be free from it.
which does which I understand in one way that like it can be really healing, falling away the self, but our bodies have to rot. They have to transform into something else. So it doesn't really make sense, all of that perspective. So if you really align with God, then you're just going to live forever, which is also what happens in a lot of spiritual communities. They believe that their master will live forever. And then when they die, then they're like, oh, well, that's because he's living forever. And, you know, all these types of things. It's all beliefs and ideas. And none of our beliefs or ideas are true. And it's often judgments and fears and seeking patterns to be somebody that's gone unrecognized. You know, to be really extreme about something comforts you in a way. Like to see things in black and white can be really comforting for the person rather than life is like, doesn't make sense. You know, law of attraction sometimes fits and sometimes doesn't. Taking medicine sometimes fits and sometimes doesn't. It's awful what we do to animals, but when I see people, you know, deeply in pain, I'm so grateful for the painkillers to help them. You know, it's life is just so uncontainable and wild. And we're always trying to put it into brackets to save our ego, to save ourselves. You know, really, John, non-duality is really recognition that the only freedom is beyond any ideas. So it's any idea that you hold tightly to is most of the sin form of seeking, including any new age spiritual non-dual ideas. <laughs> 